First tonight, a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hezbollah is now in effect in Lebanon after more than a year of conflict. There have been no reports of violations so far and there is said to be relative calm across the Israeli-Lebanon border. The ceasefire calls for a two-month halt to hostilities and requires Hezbollah to end its armed presence in southern Lebanon. Thousands of Lebanese army troops and UN peacekeepers are due to move there as Israeli soldiers return to their side of the border. An international panel headed by the US will monitor compliance. The ceasefire agreement is backed by the US and France. President Biden said it showed that peace was possible. In Israel, the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the agreement allowed his government full freedom of military action if Hezbollah committed any violation. The situation will be worse, because the pressure will be more on Gaza, and Netanyahu will deal with the fact that Gaza has become alone, and far from all the arenas that were supporting it, especially the Lebanon Front, which was strongly supporting Gaza. We are all in favor of stopping the war and stopping the attacks and genocide crimes that are taking place. We also hope for a ceasefire and a stop to the genocide crimes that are taking place in Gaza against children, women and the elderly. They agree to a ceasefire in one place and not in the other. Have mercy on the children, the elderly and the women. We are sitting in tents and now it is winter and all the people are drowning. It's a cross-section of reactions there from the Middle East. Well, for his assessment of this development, I'm joined now in the studio by the Ambassador of Palestine to Nigeria, Abdullahi Abu Shawish. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you so much for having me again. Just tell us more about what this deal means to you as a Palestinian. We've heard in the last few hours Hamas in Gaza saying that they too are ready for a truce in Gaza following that Israeli Hezbollah ceasefire deal. This is another opportunity for the hope for the Palestinian people. And in, in our culture, we used to say that when there is an rain in this place, for sure there is another rain or, uh, in the other place. This is very important. And the many, I'm, I'm personally, I'm so happy, likewise, you and any other, any other one is a uh, peace lover, is very happy for the, what happened uh, for the Lebanese people after killing approximately 5,000 Lebanese, destroying many villages there. This is an step forward to the peace process or to the peace or to the end of the gun at sea, uh, 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 to, the, uh, to the end of the uh, gun drums at least in, 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 the, um, in the south. Now, uh, turning to the north, as you rightly mentioned, Hamas is ready. Hamas or the, the other part of the war, which is Hamas is ready a long time ago, uh, one year ago, just one year ago, they, the, the first, um, um, uh, the first uh, ceasefire was took place uh, in, in last um, uh, December. And at that time, um, there was uh, not only a ceasefire, there also many of the hostages, 101, I think something like this was, became free. But since that time, even when the Israeli and the American proposed and put the proposal last May on the table, their, their own proposal, believing that for the ceasefire, of course, right. believing that Hamas or the Palestinian side will uh, not accept it. And when Hamas accepted it loud and clear, they withdraw from it and they back step, uh, uh, they took a step back from their own deal itself. So that we believe what happened in Lebanon or what should happen also in Gaza, because after 43 or 44, now we are talking about 44,000 Palestinian owners and the majority of them or three, uh, three fourth of them is, is um, uh, children and women was killed. Right. We are talking about 12,000 till now is under the rubble, uh, destroying the majority of Gaza. Right. Gaza is not existing but, but anymore. Right. So that's time to, uh, uh, sure. to the ceasefire. So you, you think this 
Lebanese deal is a good deal, even though it does not include Gaza and the release of Israeli hostages? Oh, uh, from, again, from my point of view as a peace lover, as right. you, everyone, a uh, peace lover should agree and say that this is a step okay. forward. Well, the question is, this is in, in this war, there is our two part, uh, American-Israeli part and the whole entire international right. community, plus, of course, some other Western countries hiddenly, com completely complicit in this war. But the majority of the world is, again, is the war mm. that has ha happened now. The question is, the maj this majority is very happy for, I'm pretty sure, all of them, without no exceptional, all of them is very happy regarding what happened in Lebanon right. and waiting a step forward for the Palestinian in Gaza. Right. The only one who is refusing this is the Israeli side, of okay. course, the Israeli, well, the American side. There are suggestions that the Americans and the Israelis want to separate the Lebanese front from the Gaza a war in the hope that if they force Hezbollah to cease their support of the Gaza war, um, that will be more incentive for Hamas to release the hostages. What Hamas, is your reaction? I, again, to that? I'm, as I already mentioned that a few months ago, last May, they themselves, the American and the Israeli, put their own proposal in the table, and Hamas agree on it. Then they withdraw their no, proposal. No, the, the, the Israelis did not accept some mm? of the no, no, this, the things was, that Hamas were No, no, were, it was their asking. proposal. No, no, no. And, uh, last May, it was their proposal. The American Israeli proposal. Proposal. Then when they uh, tabled it uh, and Hamas agree on it, they came back from their own proposal last May again. The question, is it, um, is it um, um, uh, according to the Israeli, they want to separate? We have no problem in that. The question is, is your intention is to concentrate all of your military power after approximately 90,000 ton, 90,000 ton of explosive material, uh, you dropped it in Gaza or you bombed Gaza by it, which is exceeded the, the explosive material right. that was used in the Second World War. Do you need more another 20, 90,000 explosive material, material to uh, make sure well, that... Well, let me ask you to give us your assessment as a Middle East analyst, beyond you being a Palestinian, although it's difficult, obviously, to separate yourself from that because you are a Pal the ambassador for Palestine to Nigeria. But some have suggested that the Israeli decision-making calculus vis-a-vis -vis the war with Hamas is quite different from the war in Lebanon. They say that this agreement with Hezbollah would not have political consequences for the Israeli prime minister. His co coalition, for example, would not collapse because of it. But that's not the case if he was to go into a deal with Hamas. This is the question is what is the, their aim from the war on Gaza? This is the main point. Their own aim, the current Israeli... Well, beyond, beyond their aim, there is a political threat I'm, I'm coming, to yes. the coalition no, no, absolutely, that is absolutely, governing abso Israel Absolutely, the because moment. they are agreed, they have their own aim they have their own goals uh, that is go beyond and far away after the war of gaza they want to demolish completely demolish gaza they want to make it uninhabited uh, 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 um, um, and life uh, unlifeable a place so that the palestinian there will going to voluntary uh, uh, leave gaza this is the main point they are declaring it day and night so that this goal is very important for them to make sure that the Palestinian, or they will go back to settle in Gaza. They already declared uh, uh, their goals about settlement. One of the, the minister of settlement, Israel have a minister of, a minister of settlement, was visited part of Gaza to, uh, uh, to, to, to put it as a plan where to settle where the upcoming settlement will be built. So this is the point. Yes, uh, they have their own goals, which is... So uh, in other words, your sense is that there isn't going to be... If, if what you're saying is true, there won't ever be an agreement. I mean, because the reason I ask that is that for a lot of people, and from what we have seen of the conditions that Hamas have put forward, it, it's pretty clear that while Hamas might want a deal, they don't want it at any price. So given that, do you see the Israeli Prime Minister being willing 
willing to give Hamas the kind of concessions that will make Hamas agree to a deal? He already gave it. He already did it last time. Yeah, May, but they pulled May, back But then reason. they back from it. Now they want a higher, they want everything without paying anything. They want the hostages, the body, the remaining, the remains of the hostages and everything. And they want to continue occupying Gaza, dividing Gaza, expelling the people. This is the point. But they have said repeatedly, and we have heard the Prime Minister say repeatedly, I've had the Israeli ambassador to Nigeria sitting where you're sitting, Michael Freeman, saying repeatedly that the war would end tomorrow if Hamas were to release the hostages. Absolutely, this is not, the, this is not true. Hamas was able and to, to release the hostages one year ago when they were approximately, we are talking about so 100 talking plus. About a year All ago. of them, we're talking about yes, now. Yeah, I, I'm, right. I, I'm coming to you because they, even they themselves, even if the, if the, uh, even the, 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 the hostages family is knowing and believing that and they saying it loud and clear that the, w the only one who's putting the barriers before the, the deal is the, the current prime minister period. This is what the Israelis say. You can review back to uh, uh, Haaretz, you can, then the Israeli newspaper, then the, the daily newspaper. Well, Haaretz is, a, is known as a left-wing newspaper. In, in, okay, in Haaretz, uh, uh, um, uh, Jerusalem Post, uh, Time of Israel, all of these, even uh, sometimes uh, to some extent you can back to the um, uh, New York right. Times but, and but other you think saying day and night that the only one who's the barriers, the obstacles to deal, to end this war is uh, well, Netanyahu let, himself let, 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 to let, save his coalition and his uh, political skin. Let's talk about Hamas. What is the condition? that Hamas wants now in order to release the hostages? It was very clear to end the war, withdrawing the Israeli troops from, uh, uh, from Gaza, uh, 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 the, the issue of uh, uh, humanitarian aids and other very human... But the Israelis are saying they won't do that because they see Hamas as a threat. And therefore, they're saying that in order to build confidence, release the hostages. Do you think Hamas would be prepared to do that? But uh, the question is, if Hamas Hamas is a threat in Gaza. If there is some, some any issue still remain, call Hamas in Gaza after of the, uh, all of this destruction. What is the problem with uh, uh, what is their problem to reach an, a political agreement with President Abbas? What is their problem to block and to um, uh, um, um, to uh, to take it out of law to 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 prepare a law against the UNRWA itself? The Israel is not ready with. Hamas is excused, Iran is excused, right. Hezbollah is excused. But by the end of the day, they are not ready to sit to the negotiation. Right. Do, do you fear, at all. do you fear, and I'm asking you to wear your Palestinian hats now, do, do you fear, as do many observers, that now that the Israeli military is not tied up in Lebanon, it could well redouble its efforts against Hamas in Gaza, which could lead to even more civilian casualties. Again, when you say against Hamas in Gaza, this means that you, all of you, all of us is turning blind eyes about that, for, uh, turning blind eyes for that. 42,000. No, no, no. no. I, I'm but not turning, because what, the what, war the fact, on the, Gaza, the, the, the question, war. The question I asked you is that do you fear that the Israeli military, now that they're not tight, because I mean they were fighting in Lebanon as well as in yes, Gaza. Yes, and that part of that their troops free, fighting in, in. Do you fear that there will be more casualties oh, in but, Gaza? 100%. And if so, why don't you put pressure on Hamas and say, consider those civilians? I mean, they're not Israelis' people, they're Palestinian people, they're Hamas's people. So perhaps Hamas should say, look, in order to end this killing of civilians, we are going to make a big concession to end this war. We're going to release your hostages and let us now see show the whole world that we have done this and the expectation would be that Israel would reciprocate by pulling out of no, Gaza. The, but regarding you, the first part of your question, mm. would do I fear? Yes, not only me. Everyone is fear now that all the troops will go to draw from north to south and the casualty will be, uh, uh, ec there will be extra casualty. Another uh, might, God forbid, and another, another tens of thousands of Palestinians will be killed and uh, all the weapons, all 
all the explosive material that the United States of America is supplying Israel will going to be back to, to, to the South. This is fact. This is what we are seeing. But regarding who should we put some pressure on it, we should all, as international community, put the pressure on Israel right. to stop not only killing the people by, by the, the direct um, uh, military explosive or military um, uh, um, issues, but also by uh, by hunger, by uh, by right. exp uh, expanding the female, right. by denying them their right to um, uh, sure. Uh, we, we understand all that, but, but what, we're, what we're what we're looking for is a way. As you said, a lot of the international community are happy that there's been a ceasefire in Lebanon. Every beast they Lebanon. want to see the same thing happen in Gaza. Yes. And I wonder if you think that given the sympathy and empathy that Hezbollah have for Gaza, and also the fact that Mr. Trump is coming back into the White House in Janu January, um, that this is the best time for Hamas to strike a deal with the Israelis, because, I mean, you know, uh, again, President when, Biden is saying, let's do it now. President Biden, f first and foremost, the United States of America and the President Biden and his Secretary of State is part of the problem, not the solution. Yeah, but it could they be are, worse. No, 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 no. They Trump are part of the problem. In. No, no. no. Trump already did a worse issue to the Palestinian four years ago, so that we are comparing well, worse worried. and worse, the other worse. This is the problem. Then when you mention that Hamas, 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 this means that you are blaming just Hamas, but the one who killed 43,000 Palestinians have not, not, no liability. No, the issue is on the hands of the Israelis Look, themselves. You, you, you are the Palestinian ambassador. So I have to play the devil's advocate with you. If um, it was the Israeli prime minister sitting here, as he has sat there, we will play the devil's advocate. I, I, I know, I right. know. But I, my, part of my legal and moral responsibility is also the, to defense or sure. to, to push back this argument. The issue is not on the hand. Hamas is... I'm not pretty sure whether we can talk about even uh, the, the, how many one of Hamas is still remain, even if the Israeli themselves is saying that we completely or were nearly completely destroy Hamas, so that there is no 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 logic to talk about Hamas now is in Gaza itself. So the question is who have who can hang the balance, who still hang the balance is the Israeli themselves, the Israeli and the American. They can can put an end to this. Um, a war long time ago. They can do it tonight if they want to pay the price for right. this. But when you hear what is Smorich and the other fanatic messianic uh, maniac uh, 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 ministers, uh, Smorich and uh, Ben Gabriel is saying that if there is an, a deal in Gaza, this will mean that we go, will going to withdraw from right. the government. And once they withdraw from the government, we all know that Netanyahu will go to the jail, period. And there is an investigation and many issues committee will be established in Israel okay. and Netanyahu political skill will be well, harshly um, so that this is the well, point. So a, is, is the, the burden to be very frank the burden in this war in this in this exact right. issue to put an end the war is on the hand of the Israeli well, it's what they what they call a an enigma wrapped in a puzzle at the moment we hope they can unwrap and unravel that puzzle. Ambassador, I want to thank you very much sure. indeed. Ambassador uh, Abdullahi Abu Shawish represents Palestine in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Indeed.